Well, it was long. It was really long. We just got out of watching Indiana Jones Style of Destiny. I am glad that, like, that they made another one to not end it with the last one, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if this one is going to be the last one. No, I think it, the, the writing's on the wall. I mean, Yes, I, absolutely. The writing is on the wall. <laughs> I, I want to say that the first 20 Team. minutes of this movie is probably the best Indiana Jones we've had since the original trilogy. Oh my gosh, and that says something because it's all like not the Indiana Jones of today. Yeah, no, I mean, if, if we're just looking at this movie as a whole, I think I enjoyed oh, yeah, yeah. this this these last, tw- this first 20 minutes more than I have enjoyed like the rest of the film. In, in, oh, in my okay, yeah. No, that's what I that's what I understood and what I'm saying is like that it's crazy because it's not the Indiana Jones of today. Oh, Get yeah. me? Like, yeah, yeah. of this movie, the Indiana Jones, mm-hmm. who's the star, is not the one that we like the most. Because yeah. I agree with you. It was really good Indiana Jones action mm-hmm. sequence. You know. Everything was popping. The music was blowing. That's the one thing off the bat I will say. The music is spectacular. Yeah. It's so good just because it's John Williams. He came back and, and provided the score, and mm. that man is a is a musical genius <laughs> when he composing is. soundtracks. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, after doing it for so long, too, you, he, he, you knows, know, he knows. He knows what know. he has to hit. Yeah, yes. he knows what he has to hit. He knows, and he's doing it well. Harrison Ford coming back uh, was, I mean, he isn't bad. I do enjoy the scenes that they're in. There are a lot of glimpses of like fun Indiana Jones sequences, and a lot of that like hitting with the nostalgia of the music you can't yeah. you can't help but to like be like wow this is a lot of fun yeah and like, but then once those like five ten minute sequences are done you have to sit through like 30 40 for them to move into the next one mm. and there are some things that like as a as a fan of the series that you kind of realize oh they omitted some things but then they added them splashed them in different locations as well it's weird how do what do you mean like the like when they travel to different locations a lot of the times they do that map yes and they did it like two times they did but yeah they, the first time they traveled on the plane yeah yeah they didn't do it they held on the characters of them traveling to that distance and i was like guys like this is like yep. another five minutes lo- longer than it needs to be i do think i did feel that that there was a, a, a good amount of scenes that felt like they didn't need to be there mm-hmm. and it just kind of made the whole movie feel longer like it it was standstill type of moment yeah yeah there's a lot of like i don't want to say pacing issues there's just a lot of like having to get from point a to point b but they fill it too much and the indiana mm-hmm. jones the at least the first three were very concise and once they were done with a set piece they, they moved quickly on. moved on yeah, yeah. to the next one with a good editing with a good like transition yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah i definitely get you i think because we kept having this conversation of like studios nowadays needing to fill the time Mm -hmm. like you were saying earlier that movies are so long now because they had to make the budget the the budget worth it exactly they have to make it worth it and and it can't be so short anymore and like quick you know not quick pace but like straight to the point Mm -hmm. they have to have so much like backstory and they gotta do it to flashbacks so you can get filled in. Yeah. They need to explain to you. Like, there was a lot of explanations in this one. There was. There was a lot. Which which isn't new. You know, like, they yeah. do take time to tell you where the lore is. Yeah. And what it is, right? Mm-hmm. And why you need to get this, to get that, to get there. Like, they do. That's a thing. Yeah, we've, we literally had just done a rewatch of the original of all yeah. four of the we previous movies. Four movies so yeah, we, 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 we came prepared. So I do see, like, a lot of the I want to say a lot of the things that made Indiana Jones popular is in here, but a lot of the things that made fans not really like Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is also still in here. Mm. I want to say the writing is very bloated. Uh, The other characters don't really add too much besides Indiana Jones. I would say my Uh, other uh, favorite standout is maybe... Wombat? Yeah, yeah. I think she's okay. Well, she's here for a reason. Like, like you're saying, the writing is on the wall. She is in this movie for a reason to tell us that there is another person mm-hmm. who, who is like Indiana Jones in his prime. Yeah, enthused, like motivated. Her motivations might be, you know, a little, little gray, 
but Mm -hmm. that she knows like her history she knows she's not afraid like she's willing to do the things that need to happen you know yeah so i i think that she's in this movie for a reason just like the kid is as well Mm -hmm. i do like that there was those three generational representations in these in they, these they've always had that. Yes, I know they do, and I'm saying like these are these are okay. They're they're here for a reason. <laughs> they're really wanting you to kind of um, elevate your disbelief in things, or like your belief in things. I you mean, gotta well, you're just following like a it's movie magic. Year old man at this point. <laughs> exactly, dude. So. When we first meet him, we see you. you they literally show us his body yeah. to make a point that he's not. The Indiana Young, Jones we know anymore. He's not as strong. He's he doesn't have any muscles. Yeah. But then his punches, like the next scene, are still as powerful. And I'm like, uh, isn't he? Didn't you just show us that he's an old ass man? And you're telling me that he can still fucking make these same ass punches? Yeah. So that's what I mean. This some technique. Things, <laughs> some things they show us a rule and then they break it right away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I think that's getting, like you said, a little bit deeper into it. And even just then, like, surface level, it's already, like, missing some things. And just, like, you know, not really hitting for what I felt like the audience. Like, I felt the audience was also tired. Like For real? Like, everyone just felt like, oh, thank God it's over. No (laughs) one seems, like... Super into it. I yeah, think more people were excited. more into the trailers before the movie. Yeah, Because, yeah. like, we, we got there a little bit earlier this time and were yeah, able to hear the reaction. So I thought we were, like, going to have a good crowd. Because even, like, again, I keep saying these first 20 minutes because they are very good. The first 20 minutes, I think, are... Mm-hmm. I was like, give me more of this. If the rest of the movie is this, I'm in. And then, like you said, it's just, like, they show you a different type of indie. Mm-hmm. You really slow down with the main character. You have another character that you're trying to follow who's, like, this rebellious, cool girl who's supposed to be what Indiana Jones isn't anymore. But yeah. that's the same thing they did in the King Crystal, the Kingdom School. No one else felt like a standout because everybody's the same character of previous, like... Mm-hmm. She's supposed to be Shia, and then touching up on all these like characters that you can kind of be like, oh, this person's like that. Well, they I'm... threw in a lot of historical characters. At least you can call them legacy characters. Yeah, <laughs> even in even in the dialogue, they throw back like the nostalgia, like, oh, I drank the blood of this, and I yes. had to like fight off that and do this. And it's like, all right, yeah. all right. <laughs> That's why I feel like these movies are better being so concise because it's just like bam, 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 yeah, bam, yeah. and like you're. Cl- Central story, you it's know. It's supposed to be like a serial, you know, like a like one of those old timey hero movies, and like dragging it out an extra hour than what they're originally tended to be. I did like to know where he was in his life. Like I did like those scenes where he mm-hmm. ex- explained it in some way, or shape, or form, where we saw what was going on in his life that he was retiring and and that he had gone through some trauma, and they kind of gave us an explanation for things. I did like it. Um, but I felt like not it wasn't used so powerfully. Like, mm-hmm. they could have really taken some of that um, history of his life and, like, made it more dramatic. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, I think they were just kind of trying to erase that fourth movie. Like, that's the only reason I can think they would, uh, spoiler, uh, kill Shia LaBeouf's character off screen. <laughs> and, like, making him sound way different than what it was, like, at the end of the fourth movie. Right. right. At the end of the fourth movie, it makes you think that this guy is gonna carry the mantle forward yeah and, and towards like with the explanation they gave it sounded like they have a disgruntled relationship towards them and it's like that's not what they told me in the fourth one honestly at this point like i can't help but compare indiana jones to han solo and his character and his story arc okay yeah because you have kind of the same journey in in this film where you meet um a a a hero who is no longer that like who doesn't kind of feel the same way anymore who Mm -hmm. sees things a bit more pessimistically (laughs) shit you're right they could have done the force awakens thing where they just kind of redid some Mm -hmm. things like they tried to take some of the stuff from earlier films right Mm -hmm. but they tried to sprinkle it instead of really like using it Mm -hmm. at the forefront and i think if they had done that it probably would have been a more entertaining film yeah um but I agree with you 100%. So, uh, right off this raw, raw reaction, um, what, do you, what are you rating it? Maybe like a 6.5 out of 10. I would yeah. say it didn't knock me off my boots. Yeah. The parts that were meant to be entertaining were entertaining. Like I said, things just yeah. dragged. Mm-hmm. So. I'm, I'm right there with you. I was thinking a 7. Yeah. yeah. But I also thought, as the film was ending, that I'm going to have to sit and kind of think about it. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm yeah. going to have to process it. But right, right now... 
definitely a six and a half is a good rating. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> like when you, as you were like uncovering this onion of this movie, like as you were going a little bit deeper into it, I was like, oh yeah, you're right. Some things just don't make sense. Some things like, just didn't make sense. There's layers and layers, and I and I can't say that the way they tried to cover it up mm-hmm. did it well enough. Mm-hmm. So you didn't notice that type of stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. Maybe your average moviegoer won't care, of course, right? Won't won't pick up on some of those things. But we're not those <laughs> <laughs> we watch a lot. average moviegoers, yeah. though. And so, yeah, I mean, like I said, the, the audience really kind of gave it that feeling, too, that nobody really was like, oh, it's like, at the beginning of the movie, you could tell, like, people we even, like... We even saw some guy dressed up to come watch the film. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, we I, I definitely thought that it would be a bit more engaging, like, people would be more excited, but that was not the vibe tonight. Mm-mm. Well, another Thursday night, uh, another Thursday movie night, you know, we still had a good time. I oh, had a yeah. yummy dinner, I was glad to come out with you. Leave us some comments below if you checked out the movie this weekend. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What's your favorite Indiana Jones movie? Please subscribe. It means a lot to us and helps us stay motivated to keep making videos for you all. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs>